Hey guys, Anthem is out and I want to thank EA for providing me with a copy of the game. Now in this video, I want to show you the locations of all the things you need to discover, all the areas you need to discover. There's 103 total areas. There are 10 trophies, one for each area in the game. If you go to your challenges menu, you can track which ones you've already discovered and see how many you have left. Now instead of flying into every area and showing you them clip by clip, I'm not going to waste your time. I'm just going to show you a map. But first, when you fly into a new area or run into a new area, flying, of course, is more fun. If you look underneath the compass on the top of the screen, it'll say which area you're in. That means you've discovered that area. Very simple. That's how you discover each of the districts and the hidden places. You just got to go to them. Now, the landmarks, you actually have to interact with an object to unlock it. You can see this glowing bubble here. You got to press and hold square in order to actually unlock that landmark. Simple as that. So again, I'm going to just show you maps. Here's the high road. Let me just split it in the two here for you because it's really long. Bottom, the left half is the bottom of the screen. Now the yellow is all the districts. The purple are all the landmarks. Remember the purple, you got to go up to those kind of orb things. It's on a surface. You just got to press and hold the square button to unlock it for it to count. Now, there were no hidden places in that one, but in Academy Runes, there's a lot of areas you're going to discover, but there's introducing blue. Blue is going to be the hidden places you can see on the map there. Some areas actually have multiple hidden places that don't count towards any of the trophies for some unknown reason. I don't know why. Now, here are all the locations in the Fortress of Dawn. Again, yellow is the districts. Blue is the hidden place and purple is the landmark. Purple, again, you have to interact and unlock it. Just fly up above, high above these locations and you'll spot it really easily, I promise you. Now the hidden places are actually more hidden. A lot of times they're in caves or you gotta swim underwater to get to it. So here are the locations in the East Gate. Nothing in the very, very north for some reason, but East Gate has eight total areas we're gonna discover, four districts, three landmarks, and then the one hidden place. So moving over to the Eastern Reach here, the Eastern Reach has 12 total, eight districts, three landmarks in the one hidden place. Again, with the landmarks, just fly above them and you should see the location below you. The locations I'm showing you are pretty spot on to where the landmark location actually is, give or take a few meters. Emerald Abyss has 10 total collectible, collectibles. They're not really collectibles, they're locations. Uh, six districts, three landmarks, and then the one hidden place. Heading over to the Great Falls Canyon. Uh, this has one hidden place that you can see in the top left of the screen there. The actual icon is outside of the red boundary area. However, the entrance to this uh, hidden place is actually within the red bo uh, boundaries, just left of the Scar Tower. Monument Watch only has four areas we're going to discover, one hidden place, two landmarks, and one district. Again, with the districts, it's a big area. The dot I'm showing you on the map is just kind of one spot of it, but it actually encompasses a very large area, so you don't have to be that precise with those. The Ruins of Shadow Mark. Uh, just be careful of the one landmark on the very top of the screen there. Easy to miss that one. Otherwise, seven districts, three landmarks, and two hidden places. That's the only one that has two. Valley of Tarsus, which for some reason I always read as the Valley of Tardis. But this one has 14 total areas, seven districts, six landmarks, and one hidden place. So just go to those locations. It's really easy. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this type of video, hit the like button and of course, subscribe.